So this is evaluation question three. Uh, what kind of media institution might distribute your media product and why? So uh, a media institution is a large company. It's profit-based, so it exists to make money, basically. Um, the company that I've gone for is IPC Media. The reason that I've gone for them is they're a very large multinational corporation. Um, they produce 150 magazines worldwide, multiple languages, um, so they've got quite a lot of stuff on their books. Um, if we have a little look on the IPC Media website, uh, you can see a range of the brands that they produce. Obviously they produce a massive amount in a lot of different kind of genres. Uh, the main one that I was interested in was NME, just here. Obviously that's a music magazine, but it's very similar to my music magazine. So I'm quite confident um, that they would have a good idea of what I was going for. Um, in terms of their distribution, uh, they've got a similar magazine that's already there. So I think they'd be quite good at knowing who their audience is, knowing what distribution methods are available to them. Um, I think the audience of NME would really like my magazine, so I've almost got a guaranteed audience there. If I go with IPC, they'll kind of like the same stuff that's included in mine. Um, because they're so big, they're going to have a really good knowledge of ways to distribute magazines, different methods of doing it. Uh, they'll know what's successful. They'll also have some really good deals established with different companies for distribution. Um, and if they're going to produce stuff on a really large scale, it means that I'm going to get it at a cheaper cost, so I can get more stuff um, for a lot less money. So that's why I've gone for IPC. Uh, my plan for distribution, um, I've gone for quite a different range of uh, options. My first option is to have print copies. Um, ideally, I want these to go into major supermarkets, so Asda, Sainsbury's, Tesco. Um, I also want them to go into newsagents and I would offer subscription as well, which would come to you by post. Um, I've also gone for an online tablet version, which would be exactly the same content as the magazine. You just get it on your iPad or whichever tablet you use and read it that way. I'm going to have a, a website which has got a lot of interactive content on it, so things like games, competitions. Um, I'd want to have some exclusive content for people which would kind of reward them for going to the website. So that could be anything like uh, behind the scenes videos from photo shoots or um, more interview content or something like that. Um, obviously, I'm not going to put everything on my website because my website is going to be free. So if I put everything on there, people aren't going to buy my magazine, I'm not going to make any money. Um, but I could put sort of snippets on there. Um, I want to use barcode scanning uh, technology, so I'm going to put QR codes inside my magazine. Uh, people with smartphones can scan them and it will take them to a web page. The reason that I want to do that is because it helps people to link the magazine and the web page together. Um, the target audience that I've got as well are relatively young so they're going to have that sort of technology and be more willing to use it. Uh, because it's a music magazine I also want to have a radio station which would be available online maybe as an app and I also want to have a TV music station. Um, Koran has done that really successfully um, and it's just another way of reaching my audience. Um, the reason that I made these decisions, I found these infographics on Google uh, and they gave me some information about the magazine industry. So I've highlighted the main ones here that influenced me. This says that 96% of tablet owners have read a printed magazine over the last year. So even if people have got tablets, nearly all of them are still going and buying physical printed magazines. So that's why I've gone for printed magazines and a tablet version as well. It also says that 44% of people said that they would change retailer if they couldn't find their favourite magazine. So that's why I'm putting my magazine into supermarkets, because people expect to be able to find their magazines when they go shopping. This other infographic that I found uh, shows that tablets and e-readers for reading books, magazines and newspapers uh, has doubled in a year. So people are using this in a sort of growing way. So that's why I've used tablets as well, because that's a mar market that's growing a lot. Um, obviously, I'm using multiple, multiple platforms to distribute my magazine. The reason that I've done this, the reason that I've chosen to use this sort of convergence, is because I want to get as much exposure as I can for my audience. Um, I want to get more exposure because the more people see my magazine, the more money I'm going to make, very simply. Um, I'm going to make money from audiences who are buying my magazine, but I'm also going to get profits from advertisers who are going to pay more because more people are reading my magazine. 
Um, a good example that I found about the NME website, in 2011, they had 7 million unique users every month. So that's not people who are returning to the website, that's people who are coming, who are new, every single month. And when you compare that to their magazine readership, which is in decline, it's, it's not even close. 23,000 in 2011, much higher in 2003. Uh, but the website is much better, so that's why I want to use those different platforms. Um, my audience is 18 to 35, so they're quite young. So I think they're going to want to use different technologies like smartphones and tablets. Um, they're going to want to have a wide range of options for accessing my magazine. Um, the exclusive content for subscribers, I think, is going to reward people for being loyal customers. It's going to encourage people to buy into deals where they get a year's worth of magazines or something. Um, and I think, obviously, this is quite a costly distribution method. I've chosen to do a lot of stuff, but because IPC is a multinational uh, media institution, they're going to be able to afford to do that and they can back me in that plan. Um, on the range of access options as well, I'd also use social media. Because if we take a look at Enemy's Twitter page, um, they're posting stuff like multiple times an hour, at least every hour stuff's going up. Um, they're giving you different tracks to hear this week, they're linking you to videos. So it's really interactive content. Uh, so I would have a really strong presence on social media as well. Um, so that's a little bit about the company that I think would uh, distribute my magazine, uh, why they would distribute it and the way in which they would do that. Thank you.